went to America and drove the East Coast with the storyline already in mind, literally driving into towns and looking around and thinking this would be a good place for this seed to happen here. And, and, um, and yeah, the story was about two guys who um, haven't, they don't know each other, well they, they used to be best friends and they haven't seen each other for a while and um, they get together to do a road trip of the East Coast in hurricane season to try and find waves off one of the hurricanes. And then uh, in the process they sort of, uh, you know, they end up kind of arguing and meeting girls and all that kind of stuff, you know. And, uh, and then they get their ways as well. And that, so that was like, yeah, I just did the trip just to just work out a way to set it. Do you have to know something about surfing to enjoy the books? I hope not. And people say, people say that they don't. I've had people read them and say, you know, yeah, it's not, not necessary. So, and that was always the idea, was that it wouldn't, you know, was that it wouldn't be. I really enjoy listening to cricket on the radio, and I don't particularly understand it. And uh, and I actually, that's actually one of the things I quite like about listening to cricket on the radio. I like it when they start talking about all the positions where everyone is on the field and how the balls come in and all that. And I don't really get it. Mm -hmm. And um, it always occurred to me, or it occurred to me one day listening to cricket on the radio that sometimes you know if i could write stories about surfing and here and there there would be a paragraph where everyone else who wrote stories about surfing would pause to explain what that paragraph meant and sometimes i thought well as long as the story can be read if you're not a surfer when you, when you hit that paragraph as long as they make the language as odd as possible perhaps people wouldn't sort of mind it anyway you know and, um, so i got that idea from cricket well you know i've had reviewers say that that was that works and some say it doesn't that's, that always happens. I shouldn't listen to him. My wife likes it. Yeah, his wife doesn't say it, she? <laughs> but she? But she's a friend, so... He's a biased. Exactly. Yeah. Did you see the bucket cut my country to serve? Exactly. Any went to serve, he stays up. Of course he can. Fifteen pound a lesson. Of course he can, yeah. Beach. Yeah, down around it. Yeah. Definitely. Where would you go if you wanted something published? My friends thinking of writing about a man's life? I would say to find that a literary agent is the best way to do it. Because yeah. publishers don't take anything seriously if it's not from a literary agent. And um, they, uh, they also um, will sort of they'll do you over on the deal if you haven't got an agent as well. Yeah. What I did was I found, I found an agent and then um, I had an agent for a while and I'd been sort of messing around with this story and then when I broke my leg I sort of rang, rang the agent up for the next day and said, you know that book I've been doing? I'm going to finish it now. But I would say an agent. Get, if you get the Writers and Artists Yearbook, it's got a list of them in there and just, just, just read the blurbs for each agent or the, I don't know what it is. They're a bit like, they're a little bit like the personal advert column, you know, the agent sort of says, you know, likes travel writing, non-fiction, biography, doesn't like sports, or, you know, and then you sort of, you, you, you check the ones that suit you and follow their instructions, they see, you know, whether, how much of the book they want sent to them, and, you know, often they'll ask for self-addressed envelopes so they can stamp their envelopes so they can return it to you. Okay. Be thick skin, they, they send a lot of rejection slips back. And uh, every writer I know has got all their rejection slips kept, like, uh, you know, connections of them. I don't know anyone who's got no rejection slips. Apart from uh, Ashley Cole, but he didn't write his own book. <laughs> <laughs> He's a footballer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <right>. Supposedly. <laughs> well, and also, you know, talk about Ashley Cole, right? Oh, so. <laughs> he, he, he is exactly how to not sell your book because uh, he wrote a book about. I thought I, I, I like to talk about football. He wrote a book about how Arsenal had messed him around. And then it came on the market just as he'd left for Chelsea. So no one from Chelsea wanted to read his book because he was new. And no one from Arsenal wanted to read his book because they all hated him. And I think yeah. it, it literally stopped him. Yeah. yeah, you know, they were expecting him to sell like 100,000 and he sold like 10. <laughs> mm. Not exactly Mr. Popular. No. So that's how not to sell a book. <laughs> Any questions? Oh, thank you, lovely audience.